A very dramatic scene unfolding in a North Spokane neighborhood yesterday. Two men shooting out of a car window as they drove down the street. One officer was shot twice. Another feared for her life. Good evening and thank you for joining us here for Crempton News at 5. I'm Whitney Ward. Mark is off tonight. Officers arrested two suspects who are now facing attempted murder charges. Those charges add to their already lengthy criminal history with felony convictions. Crempton's Amanda Rowley is sharing now what we know about these suspects. She also has an update on that injured officer tonight. Amanda. We just learned this afternoon from Spokane Police Department that the Spokane Police officer who was shot twice has been released from the hospital. Now, he was shot in the head and leg, but he is home now and recovering. Now, police arrested the two suspects related to this drive by shooting Sunday afternoon and both made their first appearance in court today. Ray Weinkoop and Isaac Ott face multiple charges, including first degree attempted murder. They both have prior felony convictions for charges ranging from theft to robbery. In fact, Washington Department of Corrections confirmed that at the time of Ott's arrest yesterday, he was serving a 51 month sentence for robbery and was put on work release. We learned from court documents after the shooting was reported on Garland Avenue, the suspect vehicle chased after a police patrol car in the area. That officer tried to prevent them from getting too close. That's because court documents say she believed she was going to be shot. We obtained scanner traffic audio of that officer telling dispatch she spotted the suspect vehicle. We got this audio from Broadcastify.com. It's an online source that publicly shares dispatch conversations with responding emergency personnel. I got emergency traffic. I got a black Chrysler behind me trying to get up beside me. Another officer identified by SPD as Officer Chris Honaker reached the area. And that's when court documents say the suspects shot him from the car. He was hit in the head and leg. Scanner traffic captures the moment he alerted dispatch. What's going on about here? Perry and Empire. Get back. Copy. Officer down. Perry and Empire. Officer down. Perry and Empire. Court documents say the suspects crashed their car twice while trying to get away. The first time they crashed into a tree and threw a gun out the window. The second time they crashed, two people got out of the car, split up, and ran away. That's when police arrested both Weinkoop and Ott. Now, I asked the Spokane Police Department how the community can support Officer Honaker in his recovery. Officer Nick Briggs told me a simple hello or vocalizing your support to an officer you may see on the street can go a long way. He says these type of incidents are tough on all officers, so sharing your support is really uplifting. I'm Amanda Rowley, Krem 2 News.